Hello everyone, my name is Uthers and welcome back to a new episode of Transport Fever 2. We have, uh, last episode we, we went ahead and made this other depot here. Um, it was pointed out that I might be able to just ship directly uh, planks via train to the other side because it was connected up. And I decided to go ahead and follow through with that advice, so thank you uh, for that. And um, today we are going to try and be pushing the actual finished goods uh, to some final locations and then maybe also shipping in some additional uh, new raw resources to get, to get around town. So first things first, over here, the machines factory, you can see we're actually producing things now. We have lumber coming in, we have steel coming in. So that means we can go ahead and start setting up routes to turn uh, machines uh, into its destination. So that's over here at Centennial. So I had to try and figure out what's gonna take that. Looks like it's kind of this right side here. So that's the industrial. And then this left side over here is the commercial. So um, I wouldn't mind doing maybe a little bit of a cargo hub here just to uh, see what happens. So let's do streets, buildings, uh, truck station, and uh, I guess we'll just do two platforms on a single direction, double the length. We'll try and just turn kind of this whole block maybe into a large depot of some kind. So we'll do that and then we'll go ahead and configure this for some more cargo. So we're just going to make these longer and the reason for that of course is just to make sure vehicles have enough room to kind of pull in. We'll do a street access and go ahead and put uh, the rest of the road here. Let's use the standard city street would be fine. I like that. And that is going to cover pretty much all of our industrial area. We're gonna need a little bit of an area over here for um, commercial because it looks like they are split, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen them so split before. I think there's a way for me to see this, yes. So we have those covered over here. Now is this hitting any of the commercial stuff? A little bit, but honestly, not enough to worry about. And we're not really delivering bread yet, so uh, we can kind of ignore that for the moment. So Upper Centennial here looks good, so we'll go ahead and make a new route. So this is going to uh, Machines to Sen. Uh, we'll just do Sen, there we go, just to keep it short. And these town names, again, I'm still taking suggestions for uh, district names. And if you guys have an idea of, of what to rename things, definitely let me know, because that would be pretty nice to have. So we're going to go ahead and load, only load machine. We're not gonna unload anything here. Over here at Centennial, we'll go ahead and not load anything, but only unload machine parts, which is all good. So we'll get a truck, they'll come into this little uh, exchange, and pick up goods and hop on the interstate uh, over to the other side of the river. Nice. So with that, we'll go ahead and buy some vehicles. Cargo. And figure out what, what can carry machine parts. Looks like we might end up doing an actual uh, covered truck this time. And I need to find a variant that probably looks um, a little bit more industrial looking. So all this looks agricultural. Uh, Euro Express, this is like Michelin. So maybe we're shipping some Michelin tires. So we'll get like five of them. Now we'll start with four, just like we have. And then we'll assign those to machines. And then they'll just kind of cruise on out. Again, these are modded trucks because I wanted something to look a little bit less plain than just having unmarked Peterbilts going around everywhere. So 
So hopefully. I don't know why it hasn't changed yet. Oh, there we go. Now, now we have some machine parts. So we have the first little bit coming in now. Um, it might take a little moment just for that to kind of uptick. So for now, uh, we can talk about the other item over here. This is the tools factory. So the tools factory is also getting planks. So we can go ahead and try and ship those over to uh, the west side here. And let's take a look at its breakout. to take up a whole city block so maybe I can put it here which is a little bit of a smaller this is like a double block this is more like a single one so let's do that let's go ahead and plug this in Figure for cargo. Something like that. So that should function fine, and we'll go ahead and set up a new route. So this one is. This one is uh, tools. Go ahead and pick it up from the annex, which is now not being used by any vehicles. So we'll finally get some movement again back into there. And it looks like they're gonna naturally wanna use the interstate, which is good. I wanna, I wanna keep the trucks on the interstate as much as possible and avoiding town as much as possible, right? Because they'll get in the way of the buses um, and they'll also kind of um, get in the way of the base traffic. And if I cause too much traffic, that'll slow their movement down as well. I think the closest depot is over here. So this is tools. Uh, let's do DHL for tools. Okay. Now that that line's hooked up, I'm going to go ahead and set up the cargo control. So we're going to load tools, unload nothing and then load nothing here and only unload tools. Yeah, that looks good. And we should, hopefully relatively soon, maybe once maybe a shipment comes by again, of some more raw resources, we might get, yep, some first tools popping over here in the uh, loading zone, which will be great. Can't believe I left this thing completely unconstructed <laughs> over here. Looks a little funky to have a road, a bridge to nowhere. All right. So that kind of helps out the end destinations a bit. Our shipment is not doing too well. Um, before I shifted uh, these planks via train, um, my shipment thing was actually leveling up and now it's not and that's kind of interesting to me i don't know why it's doing that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and just temporarily see if i can add another one that might help this it's going to try and go through the city which is not what i want i needed to go via the interstate as well. Which is, I think, how I had it set up before. Ding! All right, cool. So this is, uh, number two. This is almost a test, right? Because I just, I just want to see if this will up the production of the sawmill, because we do need it higher. We'll get four of these. We'll assign this to lumber two. And off it goes. And 
And this one is load planks. Unload planks. All right, so we'll give that one some time. Wait and see uh, how it, how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. Where is our first trucks coming over here? Is this them? No, no, no. That should be a DHL truck. I don't see any of them yet. In fact, I see kind of one going through this loop here. So I guess, yep, they already are carrying some. I'll go ahead and set up the tool line to do full load, which it is, so. Hopefully that helps. All right, good, progress. Hmm. With that, I would say, let's go ahead and, you know, let, let's bring more things online. Let's just do more. So I kind of want, to work out, which I don't know why I'm getting a collision issue. It's kind of interesting that I am. Where does the collision issue stop? It just doesn't seem like it wants to stop. Okay, so right to left might work out a little bit better here. So let's do... Something like that. And this is because currently, um, the way to, from West Jordan over cent to Centennial is a bit of a one-way ticket. There's no other stops for it. So it's going to have to kind of share some tracks in a bit of a weird way, especially since there's a wall on the road. Uh, that looks so bad, but I'll ignore it for now. Um, and then over here, I think this is gonna need a cross as well. if I can get it. This is kind of reshaping the bridge. And in doing so, causing a small issue. Okay, well, if I can't do that, then may what, uh, what I may have to do, I mean, eventually I was thinking about building another little town down the down the uh, uh, ways. And then also connecting to maybe some additional points out here. But currently, this is not, uh, not working out too well. So I may have to make this kind of a single track temporarily because normally, right, uh, I don't I don't like trains to kind of do the whole flip, turn around, and leave method. Um, I would prefer it to go uh, to an end of line kind of turnaround area and come back. But uh, I know metros can technically do that. Most of them have kind of an engine on each end, and the conductor will kind of get out and walk down to the other side and get in and just pull out. I'm just never really a huge fan of that. So 
we'll just have to do some tricks. I think. To get this to work. So this line is going to stay on the right. Then when it's coming out, it's going to go back on to the right side. So it's going to have to share that line for a little bit. Same thing with this station, which is okay. So let's go ahead and set up the express. Express line, and then another line. This one we'll just call the commuter line. So the express line, it's just simply going from left to right, okay? Very easy, nothing to do about it. Uh, Riverside, we might have to make you a track two. Uh -huh. And then over here, Santa Clara, I need to put at least some sort of signal that's marking this each lane as a one way. And what I hope to see, yes, is that. So that's that that means our dual tracking is going to be working. We'll just have a little bit of single tracking here at the end, which is a-okay with me. Okay. So with that. That looks good. Uh, the commuter line is going to be a little bit of a longer route. And it's going to hit more stations. So we're going to start at Riverside. We're going to start on track number three. We're going to head on out. Hit Seattle North, which is technically wrong. I need a uh, Seattle. Can I not rearrange these? I really can't. All right, so Seattle over here to Seattle Branch, Seattle West, and then we'll be down in Santa Clara. Now this one's going to have to go to track one. Actually, for now, we'll put it on track two just to keep them separate and uh, probably at a good distance from each other. But uh, I'll just set up the, the dual tracking method. And then on the way back, it's going to keep, you know, it's going to hit Seattle West again, Seattle Branch, Seattle and then come back down to Riverside. So what we need to get this all working, it's a few signals. And the second time in Seattle, it needs to be on track or platform two. And then Seattle Branch needs to be Platform 2. Seattle West, Platform 2. There we go. So that loop works. So we're going to go ahead and design a bit of our train here. Let's see, where do we... The only place they can really come out of is over here in this single depot which is hooked up to the electric system. So I guess we're gonna be, do, do I wanna use multiple units? So we have the Metro Liner, which we might use for our Express. And then this one for the commuter. Yes. So if I do, Electric, 
get a metro liner and you don't really need anything outside these these four cars you could make it longer if you want to but i don't really think i need to and then this is on the express line and then we get an electric one we'll add this here um we'll do passenger Some, some something a little bit longer because there might be more people using this one it might be a cheaper line you know but I do need two engines on it just one on each end and then that'll cover the commuter line so this is this is the Express very American looking almost Amtrak in my opinion And I do need to go ahead and throw some additional signals just so they don't compete with each other too much. And then here, this is the uh, commuter coming out. This passenger car might not match. I might have to use the other one. I don't know though. I'm kind of leave it up to you guys. And it does just about clip through that bridge. So that bridge has always been a bit of a concern for me when I laid out these tracks. So I might have to adjust that a little bit in the long term. Hey, let's go ahead and just ride the commuter line. I'd say. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl. We don't have any buses currently hooked up to this either. So we'll, we, we'll be trying to bus in people uh, to these stations. That should also help their productivity a good amount. Okay, this is looking good. So you can see, you know, it's multiple stops. Uh, the commuter line obviously is going to go a little bit more of a roundabout route. We might have some additional branching lines eventually um, when the town grows um, to more uh, suburb areas. And they might come in on different um, spots throughout the line. So that goes through and then we'll cross the bridge. We still need to put up some sort of wall on these tracks on the right. If you guys have any good mod suggestions for um, fencing in some rails, that'd be great. Or some other, other fixes. And also we need to hire some, some landscapers to cut back some of these trees. These trees are just getting a little out of hand in my opinion. They'll come in, they'll stop there, and they just kind of keep going. Um, don't know how popular this is going to end up being, because again, the station is really far away from really anything. I pretty much have to bus people in. The people here in this immediate area is, uh, it's all right, but um, I'm getting a whole bunch of work emails. You guys are actually probably hearing that. Yes, you guys probably are hearing that. Heck is all this? This is a whole bunch of meeting invites. Guys, let me tell you, working from home and recording is oh so much fun. As we come over to the second to the last current stop on this method, on this route. Okay, cool. There was a whole bunch of meeting invites for, and they couldn't get it right. Had to keep resetting them. 
That's how it goes. Um, but yeah, this this whole metro line will look a whole bunch, um, I guess, a whole lot different and better once we get some more buildings kind of hugging the line itself. It might even start making me a little bit more reminiscent of, of Japan, potentially. And look, we have the commuter, and so this this has done two laps in the time this has taken, um, or a full lap in the time this take took a kind of one path. I can't speak right now. I don't know why I can't speak. I'm sorry. Um, and it's looking good. This thing's still going to flip, isn't it? Yep. Yes, it is. And then there goes the express. So I think I think it's going to be pretty cool once this whole city is built up. For sure. Anyways, I think we're going to leave this episode here. If you guys enjoyed the episode, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and... I don't know. I might, I might uh, do more of a speed build for the next one. That way... Uh, we get a whole bunch of done in a single episode but these are you know just fun um real time little episodes here so that you guys can kind of get a hold of my full thought process or lack thereof when i'm making this stuff so with that thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one